All right. Good morning, folks. Welcome to advisory. Sorry for the weird camera. I'm using the computer's camera. It says it's HD, but I'm not so sure. Today, I want to talk to you about personal responsibility. But before I talk, I want to hear what you had to say about what you think personal responsibility means. What does personal responsibility mean to you? I think it means like holding accountability for your own actions and like your thoughts. So that's what I think it means. Good. I think it means like taking care of yourself. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but like good hygiene. Good. Yeah, that's it. Good hygiene. Yeah. Pay your own bills. Pay your own bills. Yeah, yeah, just like the, you know, the basic needs that you need to be so that other people can like, sometimes can provide people with like, you really need to just yeah. yeah. What do you think of when you think of personal responsibility? <laughs> <laughs> I think of personal responsibility. I think of you taking charge of your life and how you feel. Um, like protecting your peace, protecting your peace of mind, protecting your you as a person and how you feel and validating your feelings with all others. Just don't. Nice. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> also just like putting yourself first. Like before, like other people, mm. not like in a selfish way, but like in a way for you to like achieve your goals and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. absolutely. Personal responsibility I mean, to me would be like um, taking ownership of anything you do, whether that be a good thing or a bad thing. It means taking care of your body, taking care of the things you got to do, and yeah, just staying responsible. Miss Jackson, head custodian extraordinaire, what does it mean to be? Personal, personally responsible or to have personal responsibility? Uh, being personal but responsible can start as far as being a person to be on time. Uh, my job consists of being on time. Uh, I'm not a person that can lay in bed and just say, hey, I'm going to take off. You have to always make sure you're covered, uh, picking up behind yourself, etc. Uh, for keeping everything clean. It's so much, I can go on and on, but right now I just lost my thought. <laughs> but it's perfect, just keeping everything clean, picking yeah. up behind yourselves. Yeah. Picking up behind yourselves, right, Miss Jackson? Yeah, in order to be a good leader, you have to lead by example. You can't lead no one if you're not doing right. That's true. So I have to make sure that I'm on top of what I'm supposed to do. You take uh, care of like, the stuff you have, like your responsibility. So like, if you throw trash, uh, just make sure to pick it up and put it uh, in the trash. Pretty much just taking care of yourself and making sure you do things the right way, correct way. Pretty much. Personal responsibility, you can only rely on yourself. You can't really rely on anybody else to do it for you. It's your own like choices to do. And you have to like only pursue whatever you do. You can't like if you do something bad you have to blame yourself. You can't really blame other people because you're the one to do it. Also like you have to Personal responsibility, right you have things to do yeah. for yourself, and uh, you need to help yourself on that. Excellent answer. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Once again, great answers. Thank you guys for answering my questions. So when we think about personal responsibility, it has to do with us, right? It's what we are responsible for. These are the things that nobody's going to take care of for us, but we have to do it ourselves, right? And I see this playing out in some small stuff and some bigger, more important things. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So when it comes to the small, simple day-to-day -day stuff, when I think of personal responsibility, I think of a lot of what the answers that I got in the interviews said. Things like keeping up with your own personal belongings. As for me, I can't leave the house or leave this office without doing a phone, keys, wallet check, right? Got to make sure I have everything that I need to drive. Got to make sure I have everything that I need to get into my house, to pay for things, all that stuff. If I leave something behind, that uh, is my fault. I want to tell you a story about uh, this guy right here. So this is a uh, Batman toy. I don't know if you noticed this. This is one of my most prized possessions. It's super cool. Look at the horse. I don't know where Batman ever rode a horse in the comics, but we're going to go with it. And if you got, there's like this little switch on the back that if you hit it, ha, it gets the sword, right? Now, why am I a 30-year-old man showing you a Batman toy? When I was three years old, I had a copy of this toy. This is not the exact one, but I had the, an exact copy of this toy, and it was my favorite. I carried it around with me everywhere. We, went, we, we were like Andy and Woody, you know, from Toy Story. We, we were inseparable. 
One day I went to the store with my mom and I was about to carry this into the store. I was three years old. My mom knew me well enough to know that if I brought this in, I was going to lose it. She warned me about this. She said, if you bring that toy in, you're going to lose it. Don't bring it in. Leave it in the car. And I said, nuh uh, because I was that kind of three-year-old. Nuh uh, mom, like, you don't know like, how I'm going to bring it in. <laughs> and so I did. And whenever I came out of Walmart, he was gone. I have no idea where I put him. You know how three-year-olds work. My brain was all over the place. I was freaking out. I tried to get my mom to go back into Walmart to search all of the aisles that we had been at for the entire last 30 minutes. And she, being a good mother, said no. She said, I told you about this. I warned you. And you said that you were going to bring it in and you weren't responsible for it. And that right there was a lesson that I still am learning sometimes. For instance, the other day I was at lunch duty where I often am and I had my uh, speaker with me, my Bluetooth speaker. I left it down there on the radiator on the, near the area where I stand and it's gone now, right? Now I could freak out, I could go to the cameras, I could, I could try to figure out in the big crowd of people who grabbed it and took it, but in reality, it was me, right? I am the one who left it there. And while we hope that people will be kind and not take something that doesn't belong to them, even if it seems like it's out in the open and free, that's not always gonna happen. So whose responsibility was it? Me. By the way, if you have that speaker, I will take it back, no questions asked. Anyway, keeping up with belongings, being prepared, this comes to play a lot in school. You have to be prepared for school. I have to be prepared for work. If you work in any job, you have to bring things and be prepared for the job that you have to do. Right now, one of your jobs is school. So you have to come prepared to school. That means being on time, having all the necessary materials that you need for that day, which includes a charged computer, which by the way, if you have a computer that is a loner from the testing room, we really, really need that back. If you are worried about not having a computer and you're using a loner, you can bring the loaner to Miss Allen in the library and she will get you a computer of your own and we can get our loaner back. So please, another PSA, if you have our computers, please bring them back to Miss Allen in the library. But you have to be prepared no matter what job you have, all right? You're not gonna show up to a construction site in flip-flops, all right? You're gonna be missing some toes by the end of the day if you do that. And whose responsibility is it to make sure that you have all your stuff? It's yours. And this was mentioned as well, but just daily maintenance of being a person. That means making sure that you don't smell bad, making sure that you brush your teeth, making sure that you take care of yourself and eat and get water, all that stuff. Nobody's going to actually take care of you for the rest of your life like that. That falls under the realm of personal responsibility. Getting routines down is all about taking control of your own hygiene, of your own habits, and of your own life. And these small day-to-day -day things add up, as I hope you will see illustrated in this next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.
So as you can see, those small decisions add up. As the video said, those things become habits and that set of habits becomes our lifestyle. So pay attention to your day-to-day -day small or seemingly small decisions. Personal responsibility also comes into play with what I'm calling big life stuff. These are the big decisions that haunt, that haunt, that guide the trajectory of your life. These are the things like actions and consequences. And I mean that both positively and negatively. The closest example to all of us is grades, right? If you have bad grades or if you have grades that you don't like, I often hear students say things like, well, my teacher gave me this grade. No, she didn't. No, he didn't. They gave you the grade that you earned. Now, sometimes there might be disagreements about what the rules are and you can work those out with your teacher, but overall, the amount of work or the actions that you do will come back to you in the consequences. If you take action, you work hard, you take responsibility for learning the information just as the teacher has the responsibility of teaching the information, then that will end up with a positive result and your grades will improve. How you treat others and yourself is a huge part of personal responsibility. I say this all the time, be good to yourself and others. How you treat yourself, how you think about yourself, how you talk to yourself, very often leads into how you treat others. Ultimately, you make the decisions because it is your life. And if you don't wanna to listen to me, if you don't believe me, then uh, hear what Oprah has to say about it. We're ready to move on to what I think is another powerful lesson that I started to get when I was a really young girl, having been raised by my grandmother, and then at six years old being separated from my grandmother, being moved to Milwaukee and suddenly in a foreign environment for myself. I remember walking into that new space and recognizing that in many ways I was alone, which is a terrible feeling if you're six years old, but I have always had the deep understanding for myself that if anything was going to move forward in my life, that I was going to have to be responsible for making that happen. And I know that to be true now and can articulate it as you are responsible for your life. And if you're sitting around waiting on somebody to save you, to fix you, to even help you, you are wasting your time because only you have the power to take responsibility to move your life forward. And the sooner you get that, the sooner your life gets into gear. This is what I know from doing 25 years and thousands and thousands of interviews on The Oprah Show. It does not matter where you come from. I have seen people come out of the desert, walk across the desert, being born in the most dire of circumstances. Doesn't matter what your mama did, what matters is now, this moment, and your willingness to see this moment for what it is, accept it, forgive the past, take responsibility, and move forward. Thank you, Oprah. Couldn't have said it better myself. There's a discussion on the next slide that you guys can have as a class for the remainder of advisory. Be good to yourself and others, and I'll see you real soon.